In the annals of American history, there are names that echo with grandeur and others that resonate with less acclaim. Today, we delve into the life of the 13th President of the United States, Millard Fillmore, a name that might not ring as many bells as Lincoln or Washington, but one that played a significant role in shaping the nation during its early years. Born on January 7, 1800, in a log cabin in Moravia, New York, Fillmore was the last president to be born in the 18th century. He was one of nine children in a family of modest means. Despite the scarcity of educational opportunities, young Fillmore was an avid reader and through self-education, he developed a deep love for learning, a trait that would guide him throughout his life. In his early 20s, Fillmore apprenticed to a cloth maker, but his aspirations reached far beyond the loom. He studied law at night and by 1823, became a fully qualified lawyer. He quickly gained recognition for his legal expertise and in 1828 won a seat in the New York State Assembly. His political career was on the rise and in 1832, Fillmore was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. He made his mark as a firm supporter of protective tariffs, which he believed would stimulate American industry. His stand on tariffs earned him respect among the Whig Party and in 1848, he was selected as Zachary Taylor's running mate in the presidential elections. In 1850, President Taylor passed away suddenly, and Fillmore found himself thrust into the presidency. His term was marked by a series of complex issues, including the controversial Compromise of 1850, a collection of laws designed to address the heated issue of slavery. Fillmore's decision to support the compromise was deeply contentious and it cost him the support of his own party. Fillmore left the White House in 1853 but remained active in politics. He even made an unsuccessful bid for the presidency in 1856 under the banner of the Know Nothing Party. As we look back on the life of Millard Fillmore, we see a man who rose from humble beginnings to become president of a nation on the brink of civil war. His presidency was certainly controversial, marked by decisions that continue to be debated by historians today. Yet his commitment to the rule of law and his unwavering belief in the potential of American industry reveal a leader who, in his own way, sought to guide the nation towards progress. Millard Fillmore passed away on March 8, 1874, leaving behind a legacy that, while not without its detractors, is undeniably an integral part of the rich tapestry of American history. His story is a testament to the power of self-education and the importance of principled leadership, lessons that remain relevant even in our modern era. So as we reflect on the life and achievements of the 13th President of the United States, Millard Fillmore, we are reminded of the complexities of leadership and the enduring impact of our choices. For better or worse, his decisions shaped the course of a young nation, and his story continues to contribute to our understanding of America's complex past.